we all know uh, the difficulties. Um, amazingly, at the moment, the city has not been impacted as one might expect. Um, we have basically our revenues are up 3% over the last year. Um, our costs are going up about 2.5% over the last year. Um, so we have not felt the uh, devastation that others are feeling such that Hamilton County is laying off hundreds of people. The private sector is laying off thousands of people. Um, and so at the moment, things are worrisome, but not catastrophic for the city budget. However, having said that, um, it, between 2002 and 2003, the city saw a net decrease in revenues. Uh, and that's not adjusted for inflation, it's just flat numbers. And I am worried that next year our budget will take a uh, hit to our income tax uh, as we feel the effect of layoffs that are just now starting in the private sector. Uh, what drives our uh, income as a city budget is the earnings tax, which is basically an income tax. The only distinction is that it has to be earned within the city of Cincinnati. And, as layoffs hit the economy and will inevitably hit Cincinnati, uh, we will, in my opinion, feel a, uh, a real pinch on our income taxes next year. Uh, I say all that to say that uh, I think it is, we are lucky that we will not be facing any layoffs or anything like that. But I think it will be incredibly important for us to try to build up our reserve funds to deal with what could be a much worse situation next year so that we don't find ourselves a year from now dealing with a falling off revenue source and having to make really drastic cuts. Uh, so I think we have to be lean and mean uh, this year and build up a reserve fund in order to deal with that. Uh, so that's what I think are the, that's the big picture of the overall uh, uh, world we're in. We see, at the moment, we seem to be luckily in a parallel universe that somehow is more benef beneficial than every other government and private sector. And I think that's for two basic reasons that we're in this better, better shape right now. One is we have an enormously uh, deep corporate base of jobs in downtown Cincinnati. Procter & Gamble has had a banner here despite everything going on. And that helps us enormously because we, we get the earnings tax off of their corporate income. Uh, in addition to that, um, we have, over the last eight years, dramatically reduced the size of city government. Uh, and as a result of doing that, our, our costs have not risen as fast as a lot of other governments vis-a-vis uh, -vis city government county. So, in addition to that, some of the other issues that were out there in this budget discussion, the manager proposed a $23 million uh, tax for garbage collection once fully implemented. Um, it, because it was going to take them six months to get it off the ground, uh, they were originally packaging it as a $9 million increase, but really, once it's fully implemented, it would have been a $23 million uh, uh, new tax. Our current property tax collects $29 million a year total uh, for the city. So this would have been, in essence, doubling, uh, oh, just close to doubling, the mayor and city council said in the midst of a recession, we're already picking up garbage and it's already absorbed within our city budget. There's no need to adopt some new plan, which may or may not work because the idea is to do an automated system, uh, reduce the labor uh, costs by having more uh, automated work. And a couple years ago, this was attempted in, and on certain streets, especially the hilly streets of Cincinnati, the trucks can't get through and if somebody parks of the wrong way, uh, the vehicle can't get in and pick up the garbage. So I'm not sure the idea was a good one to begin with, and even if it, was, if it was free, which it's not. So we rejected that. Um, the other major issue that I see is that the budget we received from the administration um, seemed to make the argument, the public policy argument, that we have put too much emphasis public safety uh, at the expense of the management of the city system. In fact, with, in front of finance uh, 
committee last week, the manager specifically said that the solutions to the budgets over the last eight years have been to cut management first. And I think he's right about that. It, it has been. The difference is I actually think that was a good move and he thinks that I think it was gone too far. Uh, and in fact, he put in his budget that if we turn down the garbage tax, that his first uh, decision to fill that hole in the budget would be to lay off the police and fire recruit classes that are graduating this week. So he went so far as to say, if you don't accept my garbage tax and you ask me to find additional savings in the budget, the first thing that I will do is lay off police and fire uh, recruit classes. Uh, these are people who have gone through the whole cadet program and are about to be put out on the street. And I think that's a really bad idea. Um, but that just goes to show you, I think, some of the policy disputes that are going on between council and administrations, and I think have a pretty, uh, a pretty large gap uh, in priorities uh, between the council and the administration. So what I think we're going to do is, is uh, maintain our commitment to uh, public safety, uh, maintain um, the vital services that our community has, maintain, in fact, I think slightly increase money available in our safety net by increasing the funding slightly over last year for uh, human services, which I think is an important symbolic gesture given the uh, downturn in the economy that people are facing. And I think, frankly, there will be added pressure to continue to reduce through attrition uh, positions within the management structure of City Hall. So in essence, we are on a different page as a manager, at least I am. Uh, those issues. So I'm going to let my colleagues uh, have a few words here and uh